the joining together of Gabriella Nicole Bubaka and Jonathan Edward Kidner in the Holy Covenant of Christian Marriage. The covenant of marriage was created by God when he created us, male and female, for each other. And the sacrificial love of Jesus Christ gives us the example for the love of a husband and wife. And John and Bella come today to join themselves to one another in this Holy Covenant. So Bella and John, I ask you now in the presence of God and all of these wonderful people to declare your intention to enter into union with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ. Bella, will you have John to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Do you love him? Comfort him? Honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. And John, will you have Bella to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? <laughs> well, will you love her, <laughs> comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? All right. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Wonderful. Let's pray. Fathers, John and Bella stand before you today. Look upon them with your grace that they may love and cherish each other and live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and godliness. We give you thanks for your presence with us and with them, and in this act of solemn covenant through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, Bella and John would like to share a passage of scripture that they have found particularly meaningful. It's probably one that you've heard before, but today it takes on new meaning for John and Bella as they begin their life of love Together. So here are Paul's words from his letter to the Ephesians in chapter 4. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Now when Paul wrote these words, he intended for this to be something the Ephesians would would do in all of their relationships as they followed Jesus's example of patience and peace. And since the marriage relationship 
is the most important and most intimate relationship we will have this side of heaven. I think it's very fitting that John and Bella chose this passage as the backdrop of their vows to each other. Now it's very easy to talk about love on a day like this, especially a romantic day like this with all the emotions and you two look so stunning I can barely breathe looking at you. So it's very easy to talk about romantic love. But the love that Paul talks about here goes even deeper than that. He is talking about a grace-filled, self-giving love. It's the kind of love that says, I choose to put you first. That's the love that Jesus has for all of us. It's the love that he expects us to have for each other, especially in a covenant relationship like marriage. And we know that the marriage relationship is very important because the Bible is filled with wedding language. And God often used the image of the marriage covenant to help us understand how he loves us and the promises that he has made to us. Jesus describes himself as a bridegroom and we are his bride and at the root of that relationship is that word for love, that self-giving, sacrificial love. It's the love that chooses not to do the easiest thing. It's the kind of love that is very willing to do the difficult power of your Holy Spirit and thank you for your presence in the lives of Bella and John. We ask that you would help them remain faithful to the vows and commitments that they are about to make to you and to each other. Enable them to grow in your perfect love for them. All for your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bella, will you and John join hands and face each other as you exchange your vows. John, will you repeat? I, John, take you, Bella, I, John, take you, Bella. To, be to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. from this day, forward. this day forward, for better, for worse, for, better or for, worse. for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. 
in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. For worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Woo! <laughs> 